to the J. Graves Report College Football Weekly Wrap Up Week 11. Y'all know how we get it in, so let's get it in. Wrapping up the top five ball games of the weekend, so let's get right to it. Now, this weekend, we had all kind of major shakeups in college football. All the day one law team now suddenly got two losses. <laughs> So let's go to the first ball game. Let's go down to Norman. We got number 12, Baylor, shows up to play the number 15, Oklahoma Sooners. Now, here's the deal. Baylor beat the brakes off the Sooners 48-14. I told you boys in the preview that OU was, got exposed when Trayvon Boykin and company beat the brakes off of them down in Fort Worth. Middle of the defense is horrible. Defense's second day is horrible. So, Bryce Petty comes into this ball game and goes to work on these boys. He put up 387 yards and a touchdown, but Corey Coleman went to work, had 15 catches, 224 yards on these boys. I mean, this is the first road win that Baylor's had against OU at OU in 12 tries. The first road win that they've had, that they beat a ranked opponent since 2008. I mean, what's going on, dude? Baylor, all of a sudden now, is the schoolyard bully. They have won three out the last four against OU after they lost 20 in a row. <laughs> what's going on, bro? I mean, they came down there, beat the brakes off the Sooners, stole the dog on white ponies, rolled the muds all the way back down I-35. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got, we're going to stay in the Big 12. We got number seven, Kansas State, goes out to Fort Worth to play Number six, TCU. Now, like I've been telling you boys all along, Trayvon Boykin is the real deal. Hey, they went in here and beat the brakes off of the fighting Bill Snyder's 41-20. Trayvon Boykin put up 219 yards and a touchdown. Then he ran for another 123 and three touchdowns. They put up 553 yards of total offense on Kansas State. I mean, they went to work on these boys. They ran for 334 yards. I mean, at some point, dude, the dub Bill Snyders, the dub fighting Bill Snyders couldn't take it anymore. And I don't know if it was the smell of Geritol and mouth balls on the sideline. Y'all know Bill Snyder, 138 years old. <laughs> he telling boys he's 75. He 138 years old, bro. And so after a while, all the plastic on the bench just got two boys, and they couldn't handle it. TCU went to work on them. So now, TCU is going to move up into the top four, and who's going to beat them? So, Big 12 going to have somebody in. I know boys don't want to hear it, but TCU is the real deal. Now, let's move on to the next ball game. We got number 10, Notre Dame, goes out to the desert to play number 9, Arizona State. Let's move on to the next ball game. <laughs> the the Don Notre Dame fighting Irish goes out there and, and wets the bed, bro. Got irritated, had diaper rash the whole night. These boys went out there and just fell apart. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing from Notre Dame fans for the rest of the year, bro. They got out there. Here's the deal, though. Y'all been talking about, boys been talking about Jameis Winston point shaving. They better go and check every goes his dog old bank account, bro. Do something. Check his locker. That dog got on Arizona State underwear. Jocks the whole nine. He put up 446 yards, bro, in the air. But he threw four dog picks. <laughs> Four picks, bro. He threw two touchdowns, but four picks. Notre Dame put up 487 yards of total offense, but they turned the ball over five times. You can't win ball games turning over like that. Every Golson must have been out there with with peanut oil in his doggone gloves. He must have had. He must have been eating popcorn before the game. He had some old school Crisco on the sideline because that dog was a turnover machine. I just feel so sorry for the dog uh, leprechaun, bro. They ain't took him out in in in, in the dog on <laughs> in the dog on woods out there and beat the brakes off of him. It was almost like coming to America when they stole the dog on luggage. <laughs> and then after about uh, the next morning, you saw boys just walking around with their stuff on. I was in the club last night. 
Saw the leprechaun hat on a boy. I saw the knickerbockers on another cat. I saw the pointed toe shoes on another. They beat the brakes off the Notre Dame fighting Irish. I don't want to hear nothing else about Notre Dame till next season. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got number 14, Ohio State. Goes out to Lee East Lansing to play number eight, Michigan State. Now, everybody going into this ball game been talking about the Big Ten, been dubbed. They might not be able to get into the top four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But Urban Meyer brings the young boy, J.T. Barrett, into the place. J.T. Barrett puts up 300 yards, throws for three touchdowns, then runs for another two. I'm just saying, J.T. Barrett is the real deal, and Urban Meyer is not playing around with these boys. I'm just saying, they put up 568 yards of total offense. I mean, really, that don't mean anything because... Michigan State defense didn't play any better. Ohio State, Michigan State put up another 532 yards. So neither one of the defense showed up. But the problem, the major problem in this ball game is Sparty walked out on the front porch talking trash to the young boy with a Sparty had a gut. <laughs> he had some slippers on. <laughs> he had his dog on <laughs> had his dog on cigarettes, rolled up in his dog on Shirt wasn't ready for him. And the ultimate mistake he made, he had on an old school do-rag, bro. Not the do-rag they sell in the stores. He had the do-rag we used to cut your mama's pantyhose, put a knot at the top, had a cigarette in his mouth, and JT Bad and them young boy went to work on him on the front porch. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got, we're going to go down to the SEC, to Death Valley. We got number five, Alabama, shows up to play the number 16 LSU Tigers. Now, here's the deal. They go into overtime in this ball game. Alabama wins it 20-13. to 13. Blake Sims kept his composure all night. He only put up 209 yards and two touchdowns, but he kept his composure. Now, Amari Cooper put up eight, had eight catches for 83 yards, but he was dull. Don't let anybody tell you that he wasn't. He was dull because he was out there alligator arming. Uh, passes all night long. He should have had at least 14 catches the other night, but that he was dull. But they win the ball game. Here's the problem that Alabama runs into now. Alabama's running a gauntlet. They played LSU last night, so you know boys banged up. Next week, they got to play Mississippi State at the crib. The following week, they got Auburn coming in. Now, Auburn was dull. They went to bed, so we don't have to worry about them. They ain't two games and out, so they gone. Here's the problem with the SEC that boys aren't thinking about. If the SEC is going to get somebody in the national championship hunt in the top four, it's going to be difficult. Mississippi State has to run the table. If they lose to Alabama and don't go to the SEC championship, even though they only have one loss, no way they're going to get into the top four because they got one loss they're not in the SEC championship, and you're going to have a Big Ten, a Big 12, and a Pac-12 team with one loss. Alabama can run the table at this point and win the SEC and get in. Unfortunately, a whole lot of duds in the SEC don't like Alabama. <laughs> so y'all better start rooting for the dog for for Start Vegas. Y'all better put some maroon on and start rooting for Start Vegas because if Alabama run the table, they in. But if them dub lose one of these ball games coming up, they dub. And we don't want to see Mississippi State in the Dougal National Championship hunt anyway because I don't think they the real deal. I think they're going to lose one of these ball games. They're going to lose to Alabama in Tuscaloosa so we don't ever have to hear about Mississippi State and Dak Prescott again. This is your man Jay Gray's report. Come to jgravesreport.com or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport so you can holler at your book.